Hello guys and welcome to this video, today we are going to talk about the most successful fighter pilot of World War I, Manfred von Richthofen. Manfred von Richthofen was a German fighter pilot during World War I. He is considered the ace of aces of the war, being officially credited with 80 air combat victories. Richthofen was born on 2 May 1892 in Kleinberg, Lower Silesia into a prominent Prussian aristocratic family to Major Albrecht Philipp Karl Julius Freiherr von Richthofen and his mother was Königin von Skikfassund Neudorf. When he was four years old, Manfred moved with his family to nearby Schweinitz. After being educated at home he attended a school at Schweinitz for a year before beginning cadet training at the Wallstadt Military School when he was 11. After completing cadet training at the Grosslichtefeld Preussische Hauptkadettenanstalt in 1911, he joined an Uhlen cavalry unit, the Uhlenen Regiment Kaiser Alexander der III von Russland and was assigned to the Regiment's III Eskadron. When World War I began, Richthofen served as a cavalry reconnaissance officer on both the Eastern and Western fronts, seeing action in Russia, France, and Belgium. With the advent of trench warfare, which made traditional cavalry operations outdated and inefficient, Richthofen's regiment was dismounted. In 1915 he applied for a transfer to Die Fliegertruppen des Deutschen Kaiserreiches, later to be known as the Luftstreitkraft. He was widely reported to have written in his application for transfer, I have not gone to war in order to collect cheese and eggs, but for another purpose. His request was granted, and Manfred joined the flying service at the end of May 1915. Initially he appeared to be a below-average pilot. He struggled to control his aircraft and he crashed during his first flights at the controls and he once decided to ignore the advice of more experienced pilots against flying through a thunderstorm. He later noted that he had been lucky to get through the weather, and vowed never again to fly in such conditions unless ordered to do. Richthofen scored his first confirmed victory when he engaged 2nd Lieutenant Lionel Morris and his observer Tom Rees in the skies over Cambrai, France, on 17 September 1916. After his victory, he contacted a jeweler in Berlin and ordered a silver cup engraved with the date and the type of enemy aircraft. He continued to celebrate each of his victories in the same manner until he had 60 cups by which time the dwindling supply of silver in blockaded Germany meant that silver cups could no longer be supplied. Richthofen discontinued his orders at this stage, rather than accept cups made from base metal. On 23 November 1916, Richthofen shot down his most famous adversary, British ace Major Lano Hawker VC. The victory came while Richthofen was flying an Albatross D2 and Hawker was flying the older DH2. After a long dogfight, Hawker was shot in the back of the head as he attempted to escape back to his own lines. Richthofen received the Paul Merite in January 1917 after his 16th confirmed kill, the highest military honor in Germany at the time. That same month, he assumed command of Jasta 11, and after becoming the squadron leader he took the flamboyant step of having his albatross painted red. Other members of JASTA 11 soon took to painting parts of their aircraft red. Their official reason seems to have been to make their leader less conspicuous, to avoid having him singled out in a fight. In practice, red coloration became a unit identification. The German propaganda made much of it by referring to Richthofen as Der Rotkampfliger, the red fighter pilot. He was also called the Red Baron for this reason. Richthofen led his new unit to unparalleled success, peaking during bloody April, 1917. In that month alone, he shot down 22 British aircraft, including four in a single day, raising his official tally to 52. By June, he had become the commander of the first of the new larger fighter wing formations. These were highly mobile, combined tactical units that could move at short notice to different parts of the front as required. Richthofen's new command, Jagdjeschweder 1, was composed of fighter squadrons No. 4, 6, 10, and 11. JG-1 became widely known as the Flying Circus, due to the unit's brightly colored aircraft and its mobility, including the use of tents, trains, and caravans, wherever appropriate. 
On the 21st of April 1918, Richthofen was involved in a low-altitude pursuit of a Royal Air Force pilot, when a single .303 bullet hit Richthofen through the chest, severely damaging his heart and killing him, his plane crashed near Bray Corby Road, just north of the village of Vaux sur Somme, in a sector defended by the Australian Imperial Force. The RAF credited Arthur Brown with shooting down the Red Baron, but it is now generally agreed by historians, doctors, and ballistics experts that Richthofen was actually killed by an anti-aircraft machine gunner firing from the ground. The Red Baron was given full military funeral by the Allied forces and was buried in a cemetery at the village of Batangles.